when are we gonna drop uh, Generous the movie? That'll be the big boy. Investment of a lifetime, <laughs> man. <Four bucks. laughs> Could you imagine though? Please help, you've been in a coma for three months. Or nothing but a cog in the machine. Get some hype up in the comment section. We can make some posters. Let's try to hype this shit up. Oh my put god. Her, what put the, her faces on the side of buses. What would the plot? Yo, it's like, <laughs> generates the movie. Dick swinging into action. Yes. Hey, guys. hey guys! Dick swinging. Welcome Dick back to Generous. Dick swinging, baby. We, uh, I gotta give it full transparent. We did one take and we moved like two, mi yeah. like two meters. All right, so guys, we started recording today's episode. Uh, I had a hilarious bit. Oh, that was so funny. We were a little Caucasian, a little Moan freestyling. We yeah. lasted about two minutes. Yeah. And then Lil Moan goes, let's re-record. That was not funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, so in that two uh, minutes, I moved from the center of the room to this bookshelf. Frank started a battle. And Sorry. I, yeah, and that was basically it. So luckily nothing crazy happened, but thank you all so much for clicking on the video. Seriously, thank you. Make sure you hit the bell because you'll receive notifications That's true. for the future episodes. That's true. Generous. Also, Persona Tonight. Dude, we're gonna get to see that every single episode. I love for that. the next like six months. It's gonna be awesome for the remainder of Persona, probably. For the remainder, because of this series, series ain't gonna end, and Persona ain't gonna end. Yeah, so <laughs> just get used to that. It's gonna be in every intro, bro. Hell yeah, you dude. Never see it so coming. we tweeted on the last episode looking for some serious topics to talk about, and I figured we go ahead and refer to the tweet and see if anybody responded with some stuff we could Hell talk yeah. about. Hell yeah! And if you want to contribute to future episodes of Gen Race with topics or questions or anything under the sun of that nature, follow us on Twitter. Woo! Yeah, go ahead, give us a follow. We uh, post a lot of shit over there. It's actually pretty hype. Hell yeah, bro. Um, okay, here's a, I don't know, like, really how serious, well, I feel like it's kind of serious. Yeah. Ethan says, what's the absolute worst name you guys can give to your future child? PPO Jones. PPO Jones. Hey, got a persona. Persona. No, honestly, I, oh God, though, I don't know about the absolute worst, but, ah, uh, uh, Frank. Would... Yeah. No, that'd be pretty bad. Dude, okay, I know we riff on your name, but it could be worse. It could be worse. I don't know how. I'm I, I, I'm <laughs> trying to think of a worse name. Uh, it, it exists. We actually we we've talked about this thing before in Gen Race, but I'm actually oh, if, if I have a kid and if he's a dude, I'm supposed to name him Peter. Peter, because yeah. of your weird family tradition where you got to keep swapping the middle name and the yeah. first name. But I don't know, dude. You could break tradition. I could. I I I feel like so Peter actually I don't think is a bad name. It's just like gives me Neverland vibes. Neverland vibes? Peter oh, Pan. Peter Pan, yeah. Slight reach. Okay. Yeah. No, I Thanks, think bro. like I don't think Peter's that bad of a name. So I could I could maybe see myself naming my kid Peter, but it's also one of those things where it's like the tradition is kind of getting outdated, especially for like my kid's kid who would end up having the name Frank. Like my name is already pretty bad. Dude, you already get riffed on for sounding like a grandpa. No, yeah. Which like, granted, you also drive a Chrysler Sebring and wear palm trees for sport. Yeah. Uh, so I mean like it's not like Frank is the only factor. Yeah, no, yeah. But you just don't want your grandkid to have to go through yeah. that. Yeah, like my like my name is already getting there, so it's like for my kid's kid yeah. to also have the name Frank, it might be a little bit of a reach. Yeah, see, for me, uh, I've always had the name for my kid picked since I was like maybe like nine or something. Yeah, I really I'm like, excited to meet Gerald. I think he's gonna be really cool. The fuck, I'm not naming him after your draft friend. Why not Gerald? Yo, you're, dude, no. no Gerald no, 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 is a no, no, sick no. name. Okay, fine, name your kid Gerald. I'll let no. your dad get upset. No, I could never, I could never. Dude, you're gonna be with your wife, your newly born kid, and your dad in the hospital room. And you'd be like, oh, look at Pete. Look at your Pete go, and he'd be like, Dad, it's Gerald. <laughs> I'd be like, Dad, what do you mean? Dad, please. Come it's on. Gerald. It's offensive to all the Gerald clan. Yeah, wait, so what, what's that name? I've always wanted to name my kid either Cody or Mason. I like those two names uh, quite a bit, honestly. Mason. 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 I, you know I, like I, I, vibe, I vibe with both those, except yeah. Cody sounds like a fuckboy name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It absolutely does. <laughs> yeah. it, I want my kid to be a badass, all right? And then Mason, he's going to be like the sweet, I'll have your uh, daughter home by eight. Yeah, and kid. then you're, you'll have one fuck boy and then exactly. one Exactly, so yeah. one will get to go to college and the other one's Cody, all right? It's going to be like... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like, he's going to like start... Dude, it's actually, it's actually so funny, so... Mm -hmm. I saw my family, obviously, for uh, a bladed Christmas this, uh, you know, this week. La 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 la. Hell yeah. So my brother, and he's not going to be mad at me for saying this, he's a... Oh, no! You got a crit! It looks like the Eiffel Tower has collapsed. <laughs> Down with 
Fuck! Monuments! Wait, that actually, that's so bad. Oh, oh no. no. Looks like someone's gonna have to solo with a slacking. I mean, listen, at least, at least, I, at least I didn't lose slack. Like it's slacking is like my main down boy. down to slops. Dude, I gotta say though, man. like Slops on my knobs. Slops on my knobs. Yeah, Stunfist was carrying me though. It makes me sad. Yeah, you were literally getting carried by the Eiffel Tower. I know. Not that, even in a sexual way either. I know. Um. Anyways, though, my brother's a fuck boy. <laughs> oh, so we were talking about Nick? Nicholas, yeah. Okay. Nick, Nicholas, is so, he's a fuck boy. Because I was like, no, not dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but no, well, so he's kind of in that. He's like, literally think of a Cody, like what you described. He's in that same boat. Where yeah, it's not like, quite Chad, but like. Yeah, like he doesn't, he doesn't want to go to college. He's like, he's just kind of thinking about getting into like the stock market or something like, or like, you know, pyramid schemes. Pyramid schemes. <laughs> he's trying to find out where the Easter Island heads came from. Yeah. Like, Nick has a completely different goal in life, completely separate from, honestly, just normal man. No, understand. it's actually. It's, it's another actually, plane of existence. Yeah, it's actually funny though. So he was, he was literally, he was talking to me while uh, we were out to dinner. He was telling me about how he's going to, Instead of like, um, you know, like, uh, like getting a normal job, uh -huh. right? He wants to invest in this thing. It's like this, like this foreign currency thing. <laughs> this kid's like fifteen. No, I know. It's like the stocks. No, it's super weird. It's like fucking Great Gatsby over here, bro. Yeah. Well, it's like stocks. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's, it's like stocks, but except you're investing in currency. Bitcoin. No, it's not Bitcoin. It's like it's so, like foreign currency. So it's like the difference is like when the when the value of currency changes between countries, apparently you can gain you can gain or lose money from that. Hmm. It's really like I don't really get it. I don't really I'm very confused. I don't really know what it's all about. I don't think Nick's probably gonna get it either, bro. Well he's actually he's been researching the hell out of it. And apparently Dude. apparently it's actually like a good investment. It's just that uh it seems so like it does seem a little fishy. advanced and like risky. A little risky. But at yeah. the same time, like, I don't know shit. I mean, it's not like I'm knowledgeable on that shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe Nick's onto something. Maybe he's onto something. I don't know. It'll be interesting because uh, he actually, I mean, he wants to give it a go, so it'll be interesting you're to see like, where it goes. You're going to come back to Nashville for the next holiday, right? He's going to be just fucking loaded. Dude, you're going to be like, oh, what's up? Pete, Jen, Dom, Rubik's Cube, Jack, Bark, Ferrari, Bill Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates, yeah. <laughs> Dude, legit. Yeah, literally. Uh, I know my brother recently invested into a Carnival Cruise Lines, like right before the pandemic hit. So, yeah, that's smart. That's very smart, smart uh, decision on his end. That's smart. I've been, uh, so I, I do like the Vanguard stuff. Oh, really? And so like, yeah, so it's like, you know, you'll invest in like, it's like, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like, it puts like your money in like, like 50 different stocks. Uh -huh. So it's not just like investing in one. Like it's literally the most like safe option possible. Yeah, you invest in a lot of them and then yeah. like you keep it for a really long time. So like over time, it just yeah. kind of goes up. Uh, I do a uh, Roth IRA, which is something that I suggest anybody watching this video who is 18 or honestly, just if you don't have one open, fucking open that shit. Yeah, Roth is smart because then you can yeah. pull it out tax free when you're like over sixty. Or exactly. Whatever. So yeah. essentially, it's a bank account or a savings account rather that you put money into. You can put as much money as you want, uh, up to six grand a year actually, and you put money in. You're not allowed to touch it. You're not allowed to take it out until you're fifty nine and a half years old. And it will gain interest over time. That's what it's meant to do. Yeah. And then when you're fifty nine and a half, I. Uh, if you start it when you're, you know, in a college age range like Frank or me, then yeah, you get to take that all, all that shit out and it's just tax free. Uh, and it's damn near like I think Shady Penguin said like two million dollars in one of his update videos. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. if the, you if you invest in it consistently. Yeah, the research that I did on it, not quite two mil, but I don't know. Keep it shady, bro. Like, keep it shady. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, what's crazy about that too is like it's um. I don't know. It's just, it's just smart. And like, even, even if you can't invest much, I mean, just putting like literally anything in a little just bit, little, there's a little bit at a time. And like worst case scenario, I think, well, with a Roth IRA, I think you can take out the money you put in, but you can't take it. You can't take out the money that earned interest. Yes. Um, like, so it's like even worst case scenario, like if you end up needing the money that you did invest, you can take it out. It's just, it's yeah. not the, smart. And the bank will understand and they'll work with you and all that kind of fun. And they'll crap. be like, dick swinging, you and, know? And then from there, you just raise your hands like Grimer and move on with your day, right? Basically, yeah. Yup. See, cause that's like weird, like preconceived notion that I think a lot of people weirdly enough get from banks is like, they're all dicks and assholes. And you don't know, if you're not knowledgeable on that shit, you're gonna get screwed over. You're gonna have to be on the phone for 10 years or whatever. Yeah. But in a lot of cases, there are just people who are willing to help no matter what and just get you to have the best situation for yourself as long as you're working, willing to work with them and they'll work with you. Yeah. No, yeah. I've I've had good experiences with my bank. The bank that I have is um it, it's like it's like a it's like a Tennessee exclusive, which makes mm -hmm. it hard because now that I'm in Nashville, I can't like I don't Georgia. Have, or well, Georgia, yeah. There you go. Um now that I'm in Georgia, I don't have like a bank to go to. 
Yeah, Which, that is a little, yeah, it's, a little scuff. It is a little scuff. But it's also one of those things where it's like, I haven't really needed it, so it hasn't yeah. been a problem. So do you just not get physical money ever? No, well, so what I do is like, I pay for everything with card and then just like whatever cash I do get, I just hold on to. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I mainly do card and then I'll do uh, like cash just as like emergency money. I'll just keep that in my wallet. Yeah, and if I ever like needed cash, I could always go to an ATM. It's yeah, just- there are like all kinds of different gas stations and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just they take out a fee when you're when it's not like with your bank and it's like, ugh. Exactly. Ugh. Dude, the Lil Moan diss track music video was, I went through fucking a minute Hell, and a half yeah, yeah. with all that bullshit banking stuff because they were just like, hold up, you're, you're doing what now? <laughs> are you good? Are you good? You, are you good? <laughs> uh, you're a uh, music video, you say. Okay, kid. <laughs> All right, have fun. Let's uh, we'll we'll give you the we'll give you the right for this one. We'll, we'll give you the clearance. We'll yeah. give you the green light. We'll let you go ahead and uh, have fun, little cock. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. I've never made a purchase like that ever in is the history it, of my life. That is like the most expensive purchase you've ever made by far. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I think my. Oh god, what would mine be? I think. Well, it was that kind of. It was a little nuts when I came to your apartment. You had 15 hookers. That's true. Yeah, that was that was like I, I was just like, damn, Frank. I mean, you could just stick with cinnamon sugar. Like, <laughs> I know you get hype with her. I mean, yeah, you no, really don't need the entire rainbow. I really, I just like to invest in my spices. You know, <laughs> I really thought I really rack. thought I could use some uh, some ground some, cinnamon as well. Yeah, no, no, oregano. Ooh. Oregano, oh baby. Yeah, she, she's a high as a kite, as they say. Also, oh, yeah. add a badge to the layout. Woo! Ah, I'm, I'm gonna be getting a badge here soon. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you I, will not. I, I actually might not, because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this with just slops. Exactly, you're gonna we'll slop see. on my knot, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, but no, yeah, when it comes to, I think the biggest purchase I ever made was probably just college. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's literally it. Cause like, I don't know, I don't I don't think I've ever really made like a big, like one-time purchase. It, it's all, well, I mean, college is obviously a big purchase. But oh, it's absolutely. Like, but it's like comparatively, like, I, I don't think it's on your level. No, no. so uh, when are we gonna drop uh, Generous the Movie? That'll be the investment Generous of a lifetime. Yeah, that'll that'll be the big boy. Investment of a lifetime, man. Bucks. <laughs> Could you imagine though? Generace the movie, Frank. We can make some posters. Let's try to hype this shit up. Oh my put god. Her, what put would her the... faces on the side of buses. What would the plot? Yo, it's like generates the movie. Dick swinging into action. Yes. It's like the tagline. Yes. Well, actually, we were going to put out joke posters like that when we were in high school. We just never committed to the idea. For, oh, for co-op. We were gonna put out co-op of the movie poster. Yeah, that, cause that was the highlight video. We were calling it co-op the movie, yeah. Funny as fuck, man. Dude, that, that, that highlight video was what, like four hours? Uh, something, I don't know. It was freaking ridiculous. One of my favorite videos that you and I put out still though. So go back and uh, check it out if you're dick swinging. Uh, yeah, only if you're dick swinging though. Titled, the greatest highlight video of all time dot MP4. <laughs> Frank totally did not name it something searchable in the slightest. No, so. I literally, let's, it, let's good luck. I <laughs> spent so much time on that video. I was like, fuck it, dude. Like we're just go we're gonna, we're gonna own it. We're just gonna title this shit what it is. Do you know what's crazy though? What's it's up? actually, this is a YouTube conversation I guess we can have. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times those weirder titles, they actually end up doing better than actually titles. It always is the interesting question to me of should I have titled the music video in all caps Lil Moan diss track or should have mean Keyshawn came up with a song title uh, like I got clout or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I feel like a lot of times though like those those weirder like adding like the dot in before or like doing something that's all lowercase like meat more perceived sort meat more perceived sort yeah yeah Vinny is so funny with that shit dude it's so good but it's like doing like the more random titles they actually ironically I, enough even though they're not as searchable they stand, stand out more it. yeah it, it doesn't work every time though no it doesn't work every time but it's like sometimes if you if you do it sparingly it'll yeah it, it sometimes well, like <laughs> Vinny named one video for the crystal cage lock it was. This uh, cutout makes me look like a whale, Dylan. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, you click on the video, and it was just their shiny Gyarados encounter. Yeah. There's yeah, like yeah. nothing to do with it. It was funny as fuck. Yeah. Um, me and Keyshawn titled our last stream HM Model Plays Indie Games. Yeah, like that. That shit's funny. Yeah. Yeah, but it didn't like blow up the internet. Like, me, or, z, fuck, whatever the fuck yeah. that bullshit is. Well, me, me, or Zizor wasn't even. It, I mean, I think it definitely did get some more attention than normal, yeah. but like it wasn't, you know. Yeah, but it stands out. It and stands that's kind out. of the point. Yeah. And it's kind of that weird toss up between how to make shit stand out while doing it every time because. Yeah, you can't do it every time because then it. it everything it, blends in. Everything blends other. in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's I don't know. Weird, it's interesting. Dude. We're still learning new shit about YouTube and how to do this every fucking day. Yeah, no, dude. Like you would think after like what six, seven years of doing this, you you would think we would 
have this more on deck, but dude, we don't no, know what the fuck we're doing. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. It just works, and I guess we won't stop. It just, yeah, it just, yeah. And I, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to get to, like, that next level. I don't know what the fuck we do right. I really question that so often. Yeah. Uh, it's just... It's crazy, too, because, like, like, you'll see people, like, um, you know, talk about, like, how to optimize, like, all these search engine stuff, and, like, the, you know, how to play the algorithm, and, like, they'll, they'll do all these analyses, but then... It's like their dicks aren't swinging. Their like, dicks aren't swinging. Well, nah. I I feel like I feel like what that does is like that sort of thing. It doesn't guarantee success. I think what mm -hmm. it does is it just kind of improves your chances. I also think it sets you up for disappointment if things don't hit the standard that you set for yourself. It's like yeah, like you follow all the rules, but it doesn't end up working out. So it's like you kind of get discouraged. Yeah. Yeah, you only have the option but to you know feel discouraged if you only look at yeah this is how to optimize it to be the best yeah <laughs> it's like a lot of, a lot of people will like credit like like really popular youtubers and be like like this is why i succeed this is what they're doing right but it's like it's who like knows? it doesn't well okay I, I don't think it's who knows like i think there is some validity to the people that say that mm -hmm. but i think a lot of it is luck it, not to discredit, but no. a lot of it is like right time, Here's right place. Yo, but me and Keyshawn have this talk all the time. Is it luck? Because a lot of you know times I've heard this about, oh man, you really only made it to your position in life because you got lucky, right time, right place. You were well, lucky to meet Dylan when you were 17, whatever, whatever. But hear me out. It took steps to build up to why Dylan wanted to get into that Discord call no. with me that night. So yeah. I was committed to editing and YouTube and all of that for a few years prior to Dylan hitting me up. He no. saw that in me and that's why he wanted to hang. Yeah, no, well, I, I'm so saying I like- So I played the luck in my favor. Yeah, I get, I get, I get what you're saying, but I, I'm talking more about like with the algorithm. Yes, but like, I'm but, just giving you an example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like, I think, I think what I like the argument I'm trying to make though is like, it's like it's not. I'm not saying it's all one way or the other. It is. It's so. No, rare, no. I'm. Sa I'm saying like luck is like maybe ten percent of the equation, mm -hmm. and then that like that little extra sauce is kind of what pushes people over the edge. Like that. That is like. No, I'm not saying that's the determining factor, but it's like. It's just something to add into the equation that ends up making yeah. all the little things. It just increases your chances of getting out yeah. there. Yeah. Like, you let's know. Give some more examples because I love like kind of. I don't know, painting a picture for the bullshit that we spew, right? Yeah. So let's say we make a banger video, like our best idea yet, best execution yet. Like it, it should go viral. Yeah. yeah like our it's, community, it's something that they have been wanting to see from us and we finally deliver. Yeah, yeah. But what if we drop it at 2 p.m. and, you know, a lot of our audience is at school, so they see the notification, but they don't click right away. Factors yeah. outside of our control might hinder that video from going viral because people didn't click right away. Yeah, or or I mean, say, you know, say it's um, like something happens, like something big, like, cur current events, like something yeah, crazy happens. Anything out of our control. That distracts yeah. from like, yeah. Anything is possible that can absolutely be a barrier on something going viral. Or, and or off, right? fucking maybe YouTube just changes their algorithm that day. And not telling us about it because yeah, YouTube yeah. communication ain't the best. I actually, I actually, honestly, I'm glad they don't tell people what, like how the algorithm works. Yeah, because people who are good at it could totally just take advantage of that shit, right? Well, I'm, I'm thinking people would abuse it. That's what, People yep. would absolutely abuse it. It's like, I feel like, and I feel like that's why they don't tell us. If they gave us a roadmap, like strip, they were just like, this is where you need to do. This is how to appease the algorithm. And like, you know, there's ways to get that information. Yeah. And like kind of know what you're doing for research, sure. Through research. Through research, yeah. But like if they straight up release a roadmap, they're like, okay, do this, do this, do this. Not only would that stifle creativity, but it would also make it to where people who are smart could totally take advantage so, of it. So I'm gonna hit you with a couple things because that's a fascinating like thesis, if you will. Yeah, like, yeah. Like we could talk about this probably the rest of the video, I feel like. Uh, so let's think about it in the sense of, uh, there's a quote from, it's not Susan, but it was one of the head uh, software engineers of the YouTube algorithm. Uh -huh. Matt Pat brought this quote up in a Minecraft theory that he made a few years ago. Yeah. It's, the algorithm at this point has grown so complex that no one person could comprehend, understand, and explain it, and then replicate it to like absolutely optimize every fucking variable possible. Like it's it's so complex it's impossible to perfectly optimize. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I I I, I could see that. Absolutely. So that's the first prompt that, you know, just kind of came to mind when you were talking about that. So sure people maybe someone could learn that to a T and put out a book about it, I guess. Uh -huh. It's the best way to 
communicate that info. I got the badge. Fuck you. Woo! Fuck you. Slacking. I really hope you're going to slop on the knob there, but all right. Let's go. Slops is carrying. Um, we definitely got to get another uh, encounter here soon, though, because Jesus Christ. You ain't going to be able to solo run with a normal type, bro. No. That's yeah. a little terrifying. One fighting type, and I'm woo. <laughs> Um, After today's recording session, we should totally uh, get some six gen ROMs made. By the way, oh yeah, dude, we're gonna be. I'm so excited for Kalos. Yeah, because Kalos is actually a good game. No way. Well, Black and White's a good game. I never said Black and White wasn't. I'm just saying it was actually good. Oh no, dude, I, I literally, I'm so excited for Kalos though. Holy yes. shit, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and I'm so excited for Galar after that. <laughs> All right, let's go. What Anyways, do we got? It's so, uh, that's badge. Your, is that my sixth badge? Yeah, dude, we added two badges. In the same video. How nuts. Let's go, dude. Fire thing. Fuck, that's a good move. That is a good so, move. So, uh, the algorithm's super complex, so I don't think that there's ever going to be a point in time where that will happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see it. But second of all, sure, it is algorithm-based, you know, how a channel's success is dictated. Uh -huh. But that algorithm is fueled by human interaction, human behavior, and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, it takes a large amount of people to click on a video for that video to be caught by the algorithm to be shared amongst more people than they need to click in order to be shared broader and broader and broader. Um, so like you can learn to optimize the algorithm all you want, but if people aren't clicking and watching and sharing yeah. and all that stuff, like actual humans need to fucking do that shit. Yeah. Then the algorithm won't carry that momentum. Yeah, I actually, I like how the algorithm is now because it's, it's not like, you know, it, it, okay, it discourages clickbait mm -hmm. by making watch time really important. Well, I think it encourages clickbait in a more unique way that, a less disingenuous clickbait. What do you mean? Well, just, it's encouraging intriguing titles. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's, that's how it's always been. I think, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's not just click through rate. Yeah. If it was just click through rate, then like that would be fucking ridiculous. But it, it's like, it's like 50% click through rate. 50% retention time. So it's like people need to be interested in, in the video, the presentation. And then stay on the video. And then the stay video. on the video. Yes. So Which, it's like, I think it's actually like a really good yeah, yeah, yeah. system. Uh, for certain genres though, do you think about a fucking animation, man? Well, but I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think it's not, it like percentage based is a factor though. I mean, the, YouTube like it, knows if a video is 10 minutes or not based on if you can place your own ads or if it's automatic. So maybe if it's, if your video falls under 10 minutes, it's different. Uh, Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I think- Who's to say we don't know this shit? Yeah, like if it, if it was strictly based on, and it could be, and I could be completely wrong, um, but if it was strictly based on just the amount of watch time, mm -hmm. then that that would be kind of fucked. But I yeah. think I, I think it's a healthy balance. I think it's about the percentage watched, mm -hmm. which would obviously help the shorter content. Absolutely. And then I think it's also about the time watched. See, now that also can raise so many issues. This is why algorithms are complicated things, by the way, because I'm thinking of a ton of different like questions and raising them at the moment. And it, you can ask millions of questions about this shit. It's so vast. Do we take the plane? Uh, that's black to white too, bitch. Fuck, I keep getting Anyways, mixed up. Wait, so yeah, where do I go. go now? I'm not saying. I'm in second and we're not helping. Oh no. Um, but if it is percentage based for shorter videos, what if someone posts like a three second video? And then, I mean, yeah, that's like, you're gonna click on it and basically have a hundred percent a watched retention time, right? Right? Yeah, but that that's why that's why I think it's a mix. Cause then cause then you would get like no yeah. actual watch time. It's very yeah, okay, there you go. Watch minutes. Even. Watch minutes, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Which I don't know, I think music channels really took the worst hit during that time period. Cause animation uh, content I think did a really good shift into becoming story time animation, which can be extended mm, to ten minutes. Which we right extended away. longer, yeah. Yeah. I think um well actually music music kind of benefits for like just like the replayability. Yeah. Very different reasons than content, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, because with with music, like I I feel like the watch percentage is really high because people typically listen to a full song. 100%, yeah. And then also they, like, if they, if it pops up in their uh, recommend, I mean, I do this all the time. If, if a song I really like pops up my recommended multiple times, I'll listen to it, like, every single time. You'll use YouTube as the medium to listen to that song, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, every time it pops up, it's like, oh, I freaking love this song. I'll click on it and I'll listen to it, you know? Yeah, man. And so then when it gets recommended again, then before yeah. you know it, I've given this video, like, I don't know, 50, 50 views. 50 views just on your own. Just on my so, own, yeah. I have a theory. Again, the I don't know. But, uh... I wonder genuinely if the Hoenn and Sinnoh co-op rap is viewed by 93,000 individual people 
or if it's just our core four community. Just who keep replaying it. It's probably the replays. I really think it is. Yeah, yeah. However, and that can be used to your advantage because that makes musicians look popular as fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, dude, I don't know. Music. Fascinating it's, shit. You, YouTube is weird. And like, you know, even then, like, I, we, we could be wrong about like any of this stuff. Yeah. Because like, we're, we're still, we're still it, learning. It? We're still learning. That's the fun thing about it, isn't it? Is that we are still learning. Um, I think, did I finish this thought? I think I might have even said it in a previous video. It might be this one. I don't even remember. Anymore, yeah, but yeah. The thing that helps me sleep at night now, and it's a new approach that I'm having, Dick Swing in 2021, uh -huh. is that I don't consider myself a YouTuber anymore. I consider myself as an- <laughs> What are you, a porn star? <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! <laughs> Shout out to my OnlyFans. No, um, only penis apple, but I'm telling you, I consider myself as an entertainer, and YouTube is just where I find my success at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, I feel like that's a good approach. It's a really, really cool way to think about this shit. So now you can think about it in a much more like broad algorithm, how to be successful on YouTube way. And rather you can look at a music video and be like, okay, why was that good? Why did people like it? How do I just make people like it again? Yeah. No, dude, I, I'm so fascinated with like all this social media stuff. Same. And like, it's, it's so, I feel like it's so hard to like implement. Well, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends. What it's just like, I don't know. Like, okay. So like a good example. Our content's super weird. <laughs> yes. Cause okay, so I was looking yes. at um our content is so weird. I was uh, I was looking at a tweet Mr. Beast put out, mm -hmm. and he was saying like a good a good tip is to like look at your non-subscriber watch retention and look at where it dips, and then wherever it dips, just stop doing that. Yeah. Because it's clearly turning off people who aren't subscribed, and that's not what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking at those analytics, but the problem with our videos is like people like people come in for the beginning. And, and then, then, and then it just, just dips, and then just it's just like it, blam. <laughs> yeah, for gen race, it's funny because any other content we've ever made core four shit uh -huh. is typically you know it goes on for a little and it goes down over time more gradually because core four bangs, man. Yeah, um, well, yeah, well, well. So I think it like what it what it is though is like our content is thirty minutes of basically the same shit. Yes. So people will basically watch up until like all right, I'm I've had enough. This is what I wanted. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or like, there's nothing like, if there is a dip, like there's nothing to there really... to remove. It's yeah. like, it's like we We're didn't We're racing have... through a game and having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Could we do jump cuts? Maybe, but that'll retract from the race aspect of generation race. And it's kind of- Well, like, well, I, I, I can't freaking word myself. Oh, really? Um, But like, like basically since the entire video is more or less the same thing, all the way through. It's mm -hmm. us talking over a game. Yeah. Like, it's not like more one-off individual content that is like varied moment to moment. Yes. So it's like, it's hard to pinpoint. Like if you if you have content that's very moment to moment, then you can look at like, okay, people drop off at this specific yeah. part. It's like, okay, that, whatever I'm doing here, mm -hmm. we need to cut that out. I think that's really applicable for Mr. Beast content, honestly. Yeah, cause like, yeah, cause everything, every video is different. His, so it's like, well, they're different and they're the same. So let's think about the Mr. Beast burger video, uh -huh. which is a montage of him and his friends fucking around and giving people money. Yeah. At the end of the day, but they just have creative ways to keep giving people money. All right. So I clicked on another Mr. Beast video, and it was they just kept giving random challenges to people at a park. Yeah, yeah. I, for yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. So you can look at that, and it's a quick, jump cutty, fast paced montage thing where it can be brought down to he finds like five different people, gives them all five different challenges, and he just cuts it's like an A plot, B plot, C plot, D plot, E plot, and it cuts back and forth from all those plots in the one video. Yeah. Wait, so where are you getting at this? <laughs> His content, he can look at that A, B, C, D, E and say, wow, people are dipping off at D. Let's stop doing that type of bit. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you're Gen saying... race is not like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's interesting. Well, I'm kind of, I, I can further expand on this for the next two minutes and then we're going to cut this off at 30. Um, but the thing with gen race is I'm almost treating it just like our podcast at this point. Yeah, I mean that's basically what it's become. Which, it's just yeah, it's a podcast. I don't mind that. Dude. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind it either. It's nice. It's chill, and people people clearly like watch it for the podcast. Yeah. So we might as well give the people what they want, you know? Absolutely. So what that means that like what it tells me is okay. Let's just streamline generate to the point where we can autopilot and not have to think about it almost ever, right? Uh huh. And then our time will be so freed to start you know putting effort into the bangers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so the banger content can draw in that broad audience and people will, you know, be introduced through it. And if they like that, 
you know, generalized video. Then they'll like the, the more podcast vibes of it. If they want to get to know us better. Yeah. 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 Like, I love Hot Ones, but I didn't watch the uh, Seth Evans, you know, interview. Uh -huh. Right? Also, I learned his name. Are you proud? Oh, it is Seth. Yeah. We, we kept saying it was Sean. I said Sean. No, it's definitely Sean. It's definitely Sean. Oh, fuck. Man. I was like, I even that sounded wrong. I was like, wait a second. It's not <laughs> Seth Evans. It's Sean Evans. Fuck. Yeah, we don't know his fucking name. He's from Chicago. Oh, yeah, he is. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. He, I gotta in, heal this poison. Oh, in his no. interview, uh, he was asked what is his uh, favorite restaurant, and he said uh, the same one you have, the pizza joint. Oh, oh. Illuminati's. Illuminati's? Oh, yeah. let's go. The Illuminati, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I love Illuminati. It's funny because Keyshawn even says that uh, Illuminati's is so damn good. It's the best. It's the Stealth best. Stealth Shadow, my boy Eddie. Yep. Or do either that or well, it's not pizza, but Portillo's. Yeah, Portillo's which I shit. did go to Portillo's when I when I visited Chicago. Yeah, Portillo's slaps. Dude, you got it. I don't know if you had it when when because you had it when we went, right? Yeah, that was the last time I went to Chicago. I don't think you had the chocolate cake. We got to go back and get the chocolate cake. No, 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 dude. What the fuck did I have? Probably had like a hot dog. No, that's was, that's what they're known for. Maybe like a, eh, maybe. Yeah, they, okay. it's it's Italian food. Yeah. Oh, I remember it was a hot dog with corned beef. Dude, yeah, it, it was like. Because it, it wasn't something like normal. I don't do corned beef ever. Uh -huh. But you were hyping it up to me, and I was like, well, mm -hmm. I guess I should try this. No, yeah, no, it's, it's freaking amazing. I love, we used to, every single uh, time, whenever we had, like, a birthday in the family, we'd always get their chocolate cake. Yeah. Aww. And, uh, like, we, 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 it's just, every single time. You know what's funny? Cake. This is actually a big old uh, Detroit thing. Uh, I would call it the equivalent of Luminati's, uh, but Buddy's Pizza. And anyone watching this video from Detroit probably knows that uh, pizza place because it's really well known. Yeah. Uh, like Crimson Seabad has been tweeting about it, Diamond, and a ton of other Michigander Poketubers. Michigander. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One day we're going to do a big old Michigan uh, dinner there. We have a little group chat for when the dates line up. But... That's actually so cute. Yeah. Anyways, there's a lot of Poketubers from Michigan. Yeah, isn't that weird? Supra? What? How, where, why did we all spawn from this place? It's freaking ridiculous. Anyways, Thank Buddy's you Pizza. Daddy. I'd always go there for my birthday, and we would also buy. Buy. <laughs> exact same story as Frank, but Detroit Buddies. <laughs> really good antipasto salad, and run out of time. We really need to record a fourth video because you're gonna go live soon. Peace. Bye. <laughs>